Plasmids are small circular DNA molecules found in bacteria that replicate independently of chromosomal DNA. Scientists isolate plasmid DNA for various applications including gene cloning, genetic engineering and studying gene function. Let's take a step-by-step -step journey through the process and understand the science behind each stage. First, we need to collect our bacterial cells. We do this by centrifuging an overnight grown bacterial culture. This separates the cells which form a pellet at the bottom of the tube. We discard the supernatant and keep the pellet. Next, we resuspend the bacterial pellet in resuspension buffer. This buffer stabilizes the cells and prepares them for lysis. It contains glucose to maintain osmotic balance, trees to buffer the pH and EDTA to destabilize the cell wall. Now, it's time for lysis. We add a lysis buffer containing sodium hydroxide and SDS. The sodium hydroxide raises the pH while the SDS dissolves the membrane lipids and proteins, breaking open the cells and releasing their contents. After lysis, we need to neutralize the solution. We add potassium acetate, which neutralizes the alkaline pH. This allows the plasmid DNA to renature, while the chromosomal DNA and proteins precipitate out of the solution. Next, we centrifuge the mixture to separate the plasmid DNA from the precipitated debris. The plasmid DNA stays in the supernatant, while the denatured chromosomal DNA and proteins form a pellet at the bottom. We collect the supernatant to a new tube. To purify the plasmid DNA, we add isopropanol to the supernatant. This precipitates the plasmid DNA which we then collect by centrifugation. We wash the DNA pellet with 70% ethanol to remove any remaining impurities and air dry it before resuspending it in a buffer. Finally, we measure the concentration and purity of the plasmid DNA using a spectrophotometer. We also run the plasmid DNA samples on a gel electrophoresis to check its quality. This ensures that our plasmid DNA is of high quality and ready for further experiments. By following these steps, we have successfully isolated plasmid DNA from bacterial cells.